The Student Athlete Spotlight, presented by Play It Again Sports, gives us an opportunity to highlight and profile some of the outstanding student athletes in our area. Going beyond the stats and athletic accolades to emphasize what these exceptional young people are doing both on and off the field. The Student Athlete Spotlight is presented by Play It Again Sports, your locally owned sporting goods store that pays cash for your used sports equipment. Today's WLNI Student Athlete Spotlight is VB Trost, a EC Glass volleyball player, a junior this season. And VB, I know you committed early to South Carolina to play beach volleyball. What's yes. the difference between beach volleyball and regular volleyball? Which one do you prefer? So I prefer beach volleyball um, because it's a lot more relaxed and you get more touches on the ball. And also, I love to just like dive everywhere and it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> So you kind of just flop around, um, and I like defense a ton, so you get more reps of that, I think, in beach volleyball. And indoor volleyball, it's tons of screaming. Um, the whistles are really loud, and it can get like chaotic at times, but the team culture is really fun in indoor. You made an early decision. You committed to South Carolina your sophomore year yes. in high school, um, or was it your freshman? Beginning of like, kind of end of sophomore towards junior year. Like, really early junior year, I think. How did you yeah. know so early that South Carolina was the place you wanted to be? So, actually, I had to start the recruiting process super early, um, probably around freshman year. And so I would, like, send these coaches emails for months and everything. And I was actually talking about, like, 20 different schools at a time. Um, so I just, like, really, once June 15 hit of your sophomore year, you can, like, call them. And you really just get to learn more about the coaches. And I love the South Carolina coaches. They're, like, big teddy bears and full of love <laughs> and just, like, spunkiness. Um, so they're awesome. And I was really drawn to that. Also, the business school, um, their international business is what, number one in the country, I think. So I want to major in that and then minor in Spanish. Um, and I love the football team. I'm a huge like fan of just team culture the game and cocks. everything. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting better slowly. Yep. And then I just love beach volleyball, so it was a perfect fit for me. You're bilingual, mm -hmm. English and Spanish. Yes, sir. Did you learn Spanish to? Were you thinking about your future as as far as maybe employment opportunities to learn a, a second language or is it just something you wanted to wanted to do? Yeah, so actually my grandma's Mexican. So it kinda like ran in our family a little bit. And I like talking to her. Like when we were younger, we'd practice like animals and Spanish and colors and everything. I remember we had this like placemat and at dinner she like helped me with my words. And then I've been taking it since kindergarten and I just like fell in love with the subject. And it was so much fun. I was like, oh, this is so cool and like pretty. I'll just keep <laughs> learning it. <laughs> and my aunt speaks it and my dad like kind of. And my brother does too, so. I also understand you do some modeling. Yes, sir. And you were telling me <laughs> beach volleyball modeling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Explain that. It's called like, um, so we model under Dan Duran, and he's like a photographer for a lot of beach volleyball, different like tournaments and everything. Um, so we're, it's called like Dan Duran's under the boardwalk model team. And so we have this sponsor, um, they're based out of California, South somewhere. So they send us like swimsuits and we get to do like modeling under like boardwalks at the beach so it's super fun <laughs> wow how, yeah how did you become involved with that was that something that they approached you about or mm -hmm. did you uh tell them that you would be interested in doing something like that yeah so dan actually emailed me one day i was like yeah that sounds like fun and i get a like free swimsuit and photos and i was like sure why not and then <laughs> i didn't see a downside and he like chose um people with like leadership roles that he saw from like just taking pictures on the court at tournaments and emailed a few of us so that's where I am now and I enjoy it it's really fun a junior now at EC Glass yes uh, you, you attend governor's school yes tell me uh how how tough is governor's school 
So I actually thought it'd be a lot harder. I was a little nervous at first. I was like, oh man, I'm not one who's like initially super, super smart, but I just work really hard. So I was like, okay, I'll just apply and like try my best and study super hard and then we'll see what happens. So that's what I've done. And I think the teachers are so amazing. Like they are the most supportive people ever and they just want the best for you. Like if I have to miss for a tournament or practice, they're like, oh my gosh, like go have fun and we'll help catch you up. And that was something I was worried about with like me traveling and playing sports and it being like a lot of work but they've been great about it and with zooms I'm learning like so much through them so I'm so glad I applied you got a lot going on in your life how yes. do you balance <laughs> how do you balance everything and, and make time to do all this yeah there are definitely some stressful times but my family is the best like they're so supportive of everything and sometimes I'll just have like stressful times like it's okay and give me a hug I'm like you're right (laughs) it's great (laughs) so I definitely need um like something that's super important to me that I prioritize is like going to church and spending time with my family and friends so I'm like yes I'm a like an athlete and going to school for athletics but like that's not just who I am. Like I love my family so much and friends and I just always want to be there for like them and like what they have to do too and support them in their life and God first always. So I like my Bible study nights. I'll go to practice and then I'm a little late always because I have to like drive straight from practice to Bible study, but it's super fun. Which is tougher to play beach volleyball or regular volleyball? I'd say beach volleyball. Why? Yeah. It's like a lot more, um, physically like draining um because we play like all day from like seven to like six um so there are a lot longer days and also like it's harder to jump in the sand and move it like takes a while to adjust to where you can like hit the ball hard but um after you adjust for a while it's fun and it becomes just like my happy place i feel like it's not like work or tiring it's just like yeah i love it (laughs) Awesome. Yeah. VB, thanks for joining us. Of course. Thank you. That's VB Trost, our WLNI Student Athlete Spotlight.